is Courtney Lee and I am the volunteer and adult education coordinator here at the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center and I got a unique opportunity this summer to try to influence shape the minds of emerging adults to the community of Queen Anne's County in way of a junior naturalist camp here at CBEC this June. The goal of junior naturalist was to start to take students love of nature and get them to focus more on the, the, the little idiosyncrasies of it. So instead Instead of just observing a bird, try to find out what the name of that bird is, some unique adaptations of that bird in its habitat, and then maybe develop some kind of a story that it has in a relationship with something else in that habitat. Also, they then got to learn how to share that knowledge to others in a process called interpretation, which is a unique skill that a naturalist has where they try to share their love of nature in a story, in a conversation, making, making a connection to the love of nature with an audience member. And these junior naturalists this summer did a really great job. It was fascinating to watch them evolve into just appreciating nature to like getting other people to love and appreciate nature too. We interviewed the kids in the Junior Naturalist program. On the last day of camp, many of the kids also shared what they learned with the campers of all age groups. Hi, I'm Faith and I am part of the Junior Naturalist camp here at Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center. And one of the things that I learned uh, throughout the week was when we went kayaking and we explored the SAV beds, which is submerged, submerged aquatic vegetation. And I found that really fascinating because um, there's all kinds of different underwater plants that provide for the ecosystem and filter out the water. And I had no idea how important and how abundant they were in the, in the bay. My name's Bill and at camp, I learned about the different types of trees and plants submerged aquatic vegetation, and the different species of birds. We went kayaking and explored the submerged aquatic vegetation. Hi, my name is Kitty, and I, we went to a freshwater pond, and we saw um, tadpoles turning into frogs. It was really interesting because they looked like frogs, and they had little like stubs for hands, and they, but they looked like frogs, but they still had their tails. And we thought we saw different stages, and then we saw a frog with um, it looked just like a frog, but then it still had a little stub for its tail. Hi, my name is Evan. Um, I'm in the junior naturalist camp here at Seabeck. Um, one of the cool things I learned this week was about the macro invertebrates down in the freshwater ponds. And we identified some of them, such as the mayfly. Yep, I had a great time. Coming back next year? Hope so. Great. Good luck with Harvard. All right, thanks. So my name is Jason. I'm a junior naturalist camper here at Seabeck. Something cool I learned was just about bar birding, how you bird, looking for birds, all the different types of birds we have here on Seabeck. Lots. We probably saw about 25, 30 species in about an hour. What about the Orioles? Go Orioles! Hi, my name is Christopher. I normally like wanted to try something new, and I found out that I really like this camp as like a whole. At one point, we did some like kayaking and and identified like plants and like birds and species, and we like dug out the plants and identified them and had like a special chart. Hi, my name is Shannon. I did a presentation on um, over-harvesting with oysters. One of my favorite things that I did in camp this week was going kayaking and getting to really know and go in the SAV beds out by the kayak dock because you got to learn about all the different types of plants like the redhead, which Ellie did a presentation on, and all the mummy chugs and all the different types of fish that live there. And it was very interesting to know how delicate that environment is. My name is Patrick. Um, one of my favorite things I've learned about the environment is how many plants and animals are on the Seabeck property. One of my favorite animals that's on this property has to be, it's hard between, maybe either a fox or deer. Did you have a great time? Yeah. Awesome. Great Coming time. back next year? I'm planning on it. My name is Ellie and I learned that um, redhead Submerged aquatic vegetation helps clean the bay because all of the stuff floating around in the bay sticks to its leaves, but when it sticks to its leaves, the redhead can't photosynthesize and it actually kills the plant. And when the plant dies, it goes back to the bottom of the bay. So come back next year? Yes, for sure. And I'm actually counseling um, in upcoming weeks as a CIT. Yes, very Same. excited. For more information about camps, classes, and programs at the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center, 
Go online to bayrestoration.org or call 410-827-6694.